Good morning. Today I'd like to talk about controlling background image positions in columns for Elementor. So just really quick, there's two ways to add images or two basic ways to add images to your WordPress websites. So you can either add an image as the background of a container so this right now, this image is the background of this container. So you can see it moves around, it adjusts to that container size. Um, I actually want that to be wide like that so I can show you. Um, when you do it like this, you can put um, different widgets on top of it because it's the background of that container. So see, I can put this header here on the image if I want to. So that's kind of an advantage sometimes, and these end up getting used a lot for calls to action. Um, the other way you can add the image is just the normal way that people would think of, and you just drag the image over to your column, then hit the image button, and we're using this image today to practice. And so you can see this is the image that I'm using up here. It's just added as an image instead of a background. So let's work with this a little bit and pretend what we really want to see in this picture is the people's feet and the dog. So in this case, what we'll do is we'll jump over here to style and oops, we're on the wrong place. We'll go, sorry, we are going to grab the image, the container element right here. Edit container is where we want to be. And then we'll go to style. And so we've added the image just by clicking classic and then selecting the image just like we did for the image widget. So now we have this image as the background of the container. So right now <clears throat> we have um, a bunch of different options. So one thing I usually look at is the size. So I have this set to custom size of 100%. Um, a lot of times I just say, okay, we're gonna contain it, or which tiles it, and this can kind of be a nice effect, or cover it, which is the same as 100%. So now it's covering this box, and that's what it will continue to try to do. So, but the other, um, thing we might want to do is this see this image there's a lot here in this image that we're not seeing in this box and right now we're just seeing the center of the center of the image <clears throat> let's say we want to see the deck and the dog and their feet so what we would go right go is right here where it says position we would move the position and so now we want to go to the bottom center of the image so it's going to center the image along the bottom as the baseline do you see how that moves the image up? And so now we're seeing the people and the dog. Um, you could also do the same thing and go top center. So now we're seeing, we don't even really know the dog is in this picture. Um, the other thing that it's possible to do is to move this to the left, center left. So it take, took the center and moved it all the way on the left hand side of the picture or center right. Um, and there's really not, and since well, this image is pretty big and wide, it's not moving a lot. It's moving more up and down in this particular space, but you have all of those options. Um, the other option for positioning is to do custom. So let's say you tried um, center bottom in order to see the puppy and their feet, but you really want the dog to be more, a little further down. So what we're gonna do here is go to custom. And here you can see them, it moved back up to the top, but we can take this, um, I don't wanna move that way. I'm gonna move it back over. It's a little bit tricky. I wanted to move it up and down. So the X moves it back and forth, as you can see. And these are kind of fun to play with. And then the Y moves this up and down. So we want to move this right there. Because we want, we want, we don't want to be all the way at the bottom of the picture, but we kind of, kind of want to be right there. So we can see a lot of the dog, quite a, quite a bit of the family. And that is how 
we want that image to be um, centered. Now, let's say you decide you want this box to be a little taller. This is not image control exactly, but we have this container height. So you can take this and just make the image, the container a little bit higher. And then if you used custom position, you would need to go back to your image <clears throat> for the container and go back to center bottom. And so that moves it back down and that's really nice and would be a good position for that image if you're not wanting to show the whole thing and your focus is the dog. Uh, thank you. And if you're enjoying these little quick um, tutorials, I'd appreciate subscribing if you could subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.